Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019 Panini Prism Football 12 box pick your team number 9 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you bought at least two teams, you'll be uh, eligible for $100 of break credit and we'll do that at the end of the break. So big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. And last spot mojo went to Anthony who got his bills. And we got the Nick Cam above my head, so he will be helping us stack these packs. It'll make the break go much more quickly. Kind of organize these up here. Boom, there we go. Good luck, everybody. We were speculating, just before we started the recording of this on the show, we were speculating, where does Cam Newton go? Nick, where does Cam Newton go? Why is he going somewhere? They, they put him on IR. He's done for the season. Well, he's hurt. And they're probably going to release him. To be honest, I think he retires. I don't think he plays in the Oh, you think he retires? Yeah. And Cam Newton has one more year left on his Were contract. They somebody? Before, I think they're going to roll with Kyle Allen. Oh. That's not that good. I mean, they might draft somebody. They did draft Will Greer, but that was kind of a later pick. Maybe they'll... I mean, maybe they're thinking Will Greer, Kyle yeah. Allen, quarterback ba battle... Move the offense through Christian McCaffrey and the defense. Anthony, you think you should be eligible for the break credit because you woke up from your nap and got the bills? And if we did that, then everybody would be like, "Well, I just had dinner and got the got a team." And not every excuse would ha would come out of the woodwork. To try to get break credit. You think Anthony thinks that Cam retires and makes scarves for the rest of the day? Yeah, he could he could work for Hermes and make uh make all those scarves our grandmas love so much. Maybe we'll go to the Patriots. Someone mentioned Patriots too. Cool. Josh Reynolds, sensational signatures. Nice, so Josh Reynolds. I think he'd win ten Super Bowls. Can do. Yeah, if he had a better quarterback than Brady, he would have won so many more. If he had Aaron Rodgers. If Bill Belichick was in Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers would have like four Super Bowls by now. Yeah, or if Aaron Rodgers was in New England. Yeah. And Tom Brady was in Green Bay. Right. Yeah. Brady would then, have yeah, zero then, then see what happens. He stinks. See that knife for a second. And then he marries a supermodel. Huh, huh. Yeah, I'm Tom Brady. Yeah. Oh, I like supermodels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, Tom. <laughs> Gets cameos in Paul Rudd's Netflix TV show. Yeah, who does he think he is? Making fun of Robert Kraft in the in the Man. video. Making fun of the owner. Not get in, not get in trouble. I'm Tom Brady. All right, there's Josh Reynolds for the Rams. Uh, that will be for Mark Matheson. I'm not using and this the time switch yet. It feels like 6:46 right now. Yeah, it dude. feels so late right now because it's darker outside. There's Sean Murphy bunting 75. That that does pass the bunting. Some of you are familiar with that phrase. And we've got Caden Smith, Hunter Renfro to 149 for my Raiders. That will be for J uh, Jason Schmidt. And we got Terry Godwin, the second to 199. Chris Godwin's brother? Could be Chris Godwin's brother. We got. Kyle Fuller to 249. Do you think the Bears draft a quarterback next year in the first round? 
Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah I think you think the Bucks do? Yes. You think the Titans do? Yes. You think the Panthers maybe? No. TJ Hawkinson's Bengals to maybe. Well, I think I see how Ryan Finley does this weekend. So that's four teams so far. Bucks. He Titans. and he's in the last year of his contract. So I think they Mario just. Lewis. I think they just let him walk. So is, so Bucks. Oh. Ti- wow. Whoa. Kyler Murray. Huh. Just like that. Aaron Pettit with the Cardinals. The Bucks, Titans, Bears. What was the other team? Tennessee. Oh no, you already said Tennessee. Bucks, Car- Titans, Bears, Panthers, maybe. Bengals, maybe. Panthers. Is Depending maybe. on how Finley does. Nice one, Aaron. Nice Kyler. Steelers Murray. should. Unless they think Mason Ruff. I don't know if they think, I don't know, Deontay Thompson, they may try to squeeze out another year from Big Ben, right? Yeah, I don't know. I think he's done. But they should. I mean, they should get, should, I mean, there's Dre Greenlaw for the Niners. He's very knowledgeable about Greenlaw. Lee with the Niners. I'm knowledgeable in bird law, like Charlie. <laughs> Just like Charlie in oh, It's Always Sunny? Yeah. He's great at bird law. If I ever need a bird lawyer... Oh my god, the uncle with big hands is so good. <laughs> it's a pretty good show. Oh, Dolphins. Dolphins need a QB. Oh, Dolphins, yeah. Probably. Although I think Josh Rosen got a rough shake there. I know. He's Jaguars? Just... No, they don't need it. They have too many quarterbacks. Right. Uh, I like how he... Yeah. Where's Josh Rosen going to go? Someone's got to take Josh Rosen and like... Probably. Make a franchise Three quarterback out of it. Can you imagine that? Cerebral quarterback. And the Belichick system. Actually, that's not a bad idea. There's Fletcher Cox to 49. If I'm Belichick, I'm like, yeah, let's bring in Josh Rosen. And he can make, he can make a lot of... He's really good throwing the ball. Yeah, Pretty he's accurate. smart. You know? Yeah. He can figure out the playbook. That'd be, that'd be crazy. So that's five teams that might draft a quarterback. It's good for the hobby. And you have to think that Tua will be the number one pick. There's Ryan Finley. We were just talking about him. Good time of the week to get him. Hopefully he does well. Bengals, Brandon. A few other quarterbacks. I don't know. How's Herbert doing from Oregon, Jason? He gonna be a first rounder. That's pretty good. Is that Oliver for the Bills? Two forty nine. Thirty touchdowns, two interceptions. That's pretty good. That's, yeah, that sounds pretty Might good. Be the Nick Foles to fourteen season. He <laughs> threw seven touchdowns and zero picks against the Raiders. Wow. NFL record. That was, that was a rough day at the office for the Raiders. Deontay Thompson. I think the Raiders always end up in that position. Remember, uh, giving up records. Yeah. Um, remember uh, Nick Mullins. Yeah. Like last year. Yeah. Like yeah, kind yeah. of fills in. Austin has just an amazing three, four touchdown He's still day. Just because of that game. Yeah. And then uh, remember when Brett Favre's father passed away, and like he played a game two days later, and it was yeah, against yeah. the Raiders, and he I'm threw like five touchdowns. Ball. Yeah, and just torched yeah. the Raiders. Seems to be yeah. You got Fromm from Georgia too. There's a little Jordan Humphrey. Jake Fromm. Ninety nine. Yeah. Tua. What about uh, Dexter Lawrence? No, that Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Is Trevor good. Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence is twenty twenty one. Oh okay. There's Richard Sherman at one seventy five. They're I'm saying he's the best college. Best rookie quarterback upcoming since Andrew Luck. So wow. Let's hope the Colts don't ruin him. The Sean Watson to one ninety nine. I guess Brissett is probably their quarterback. Too. I think so, yeah. I think they're going with Brissett. He's looked pretty good. And there's Jawan Williams for the Patriots. Josh Rosen to the Patriots. That sounds interesting. That will go to John McCall with the Pats. In a post-Brady era, I think Belichick could make Josh Rosen look pretty good.
There's Devontae Parker to 249. Baker Mayfield's quarterback next year in Cleveland. Has to be. What, Baker Mayfield? Yeah. If they move on from Baker Mayfield, I'm just saying some people are saying they should. That'd be dumb. I mean, I don't think they should. They need to, a, they should move on from the team. Yeah, yeah oh, they no, should no, move no. on from the coach. And Freddie Kitchens. Yeah, who's putting Baker in like terrible positions. Their like terrible line. play calling. The offensive line is bad. And no one's telling, like, no one's on the coaching staff saying, "Hey, Baker, don't make those throws." Like, yeah. what, like, there's Frank Gore, Mark Madsen, Trevor Lawrence from your hometown. Good kid. He said, "Okay, that's good to hear." I always root for the good kids. He's got nice hair. He's got good hair. Yeah, very go. long. Quarterback face. As yeah, Colin yeah. Coward likes to say, "No oh, offense yeah. to 175." I feel like that's just like, oh yeah, the quarterback's white. That's like yeah. Colin Coward way of saying that. <laughs> Arden Key to 199. And I think that is what Colin Coward's in. And then he always puts in Russell Wilson. I'm like, well, Russell Wilson is a third round pick, so I don't know. Um, did you see the quarterbacks? I only just recently saw Jimmy Garoppolo's post game press conference. Oh, with Aaron Andrews. With Aaron Andrews. I didn't even think it was that. Like, that's just. He, I don't know. Is baby a term of endearment? I, I mean, I don't know if you say that to a married woman. But he didn't really say it like, you know, like he was flirting. I don't know, but then, but he, then, like, he, but looked then he, back, yeah, he looked yeah. back. That's what I think that's what it was. I mean, people all yeah. put that together. They're like, well, then he looked back and then. Well, let me tell you what. Erin Andrews would dump her husband so quick for Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> Wait, you don't think she wants to continue dating or marry, be married to? I don't know who she is. But Jimmy G. A stock car driver, maybe? Jimmy G's a pretty good looking There's dude. Paris Campbell, rookie that. auto for Gary and the Colts. And he's 8 no, you know. I think Aaron Andrews is just a front runner. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm not passing any judgment. I didn't even think it was that awkward, though. Yeah, Jared Stoll. Who's Jared Stoll? And, oh, a hockey mm -hmm. player, not a stock car driver. NFL quarterback is higher up on the totem pole. I would think. Ooh, gold vinyl. Travis Fulham, four out of five. And that is for Detroit. Mark Matson. There you go, Mark. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. She's dating the Kings. She's probably in the area. Manhattan Beach, probably. Get Aaron Andrews to. Oh, you think Aaron Andrews will break for us? No, do just some group breaks. Do a signing. A signing event? Sure. Yeah. Here's Jonathan Abram to 149. Red Wave autograph from our Raiders, Jason, with the Raiders. That'd be cool. Who loves to party? Jared Stoll loves to party? I see skiing and I see a snowflake. Are you are you suggesting Whoa. What are you suggesting, Jason Jaspi? Are you suggesting Yale? Snorting cocaine. Wow, the use wow. <laughs> I, I, try, I, I try to be subtle about no. it. There's Ryan Kerrigan, 87 out of 99. Oh, he got arrested in Vegas for So that means Aaron Andrews also. <laughs> so we just go to Vegas so and I'm find Jared is... Stoll and Aaron Andrews just, just rocking it till 5 a.m. at clubs. Swingers. Might invite Jimmy G to invite <laughs> <laughs> <with> the Redskins. <laughs> All right. better stop talking. There's Juwan Ju Winfrey. I know Aaron Andrews is going to sue us. Yeah. Defamation well, suit. This is, all, this is all alleged. We're not talking about... Yeah, we're not saying that Aaron Andrews does any of that sort of stuff. We're talking about our friend Aaron Andrews. Yeah, our colleague. Daryl Henderson to 149. It's spelled A-A-R-O-N Andrews. Yeah. You know there is like a A-A Aaron Andrews somewhere who's just like, come on. There's Travis Kelsey. It's a guy. Yeah, it's a guy. He tries to get a reservation at restaurants. So yeah, I'm Aaron Andrews. It's like, okay, wise guy. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 I'm serious. Like, what if your name was like Michael Jordan? Well, what if yeah. your name was like Michael Gallup? What about the actor Michael Jordan, who's in all the rock, who's in the Creed? New I movie? think I think he pops what? a B in there. So, do you think the restaurant people expect? Jumpman Jordan or the actor Jordan See, in that LA? LA would be so confused. They wouldn't know. All the nicest restaurants in LA would be like, I have no idea. 
You know, who's coming in? Do we put a basketball cake together? Or do we <laughs> a put basketball, a, you know? or a boxing glove cake? <laughs> yeah. There's Tariq Cohen to 175. Or a Black Panther cake? Yeah, who knows? Was he in Black Panther? Yeah, he's the the villain in the movie. Oh, okay. there's Drew Locke to 199. Might see him in action at some point this year. And then he's all and then Black Panther, this guy from 42. Jason Witten. That's right. He's a good actor. I like 42. I've kind of slept on that as a movie. Yeah, I watched it recently. It's pretty good. There's Derek Carr to 199. Kind of Hollywood y, but it's good. All right. Let's get this next stack movie over I here. I don't like it, that baseball movie, scouting movie with Amy Adams and. That wasn't so bad. Tr trouble watched. with the curve? Yeah, I hated that. You hated it? Yeah. I, I didn't, didn't like Moneyball, so... It's not like... A, yeah, that, that, that might be it right there. A 175 Christian McCaffrey. No, I just didn't like Money... Like, I, I thought Moneyball was good, but not like... You know. I mean, it's not like in the top five. Well, they put it... They It was after Devontae an Oscar. Adam. It's like the only sports movie ever. What, Moneyball? Enough. Yeah. For what? It was up for Best Picture. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Was it really? And Jonah Hill was nominated, I think. I remember that. I thought I thought it won for like like best adapted screenplay, didn't it? I think it was nominated for best picture. I mean, I thought it was good, but yeah, we did random player one already. Yes, that uh, those videos should be up. Not to be confused with Ready Player One. Right, RP One is up. And we did two box breaks as well, random box breaks. All right, Julian Love for the New York Football Giants. Yeah, there. I mean, there hasn't been a lot of good sports movies the last few years. And Rashawn Gary, Green Bay Packers. That is for Charles. And the one, the ones that are good are like Sandlot. You know, it's not like critically acclaimed. Addison says, "I'm like the biggest sports fan, but I hate sports movies." A lot of them aren't very good. Angels in the Outfield is a great one. That's pretty classic. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That's right. Danny jo Glover. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Wasn't it? Danny Glover was in it too? Such a good movie. Ooh, Baker Mayfield, gold vinyl. Four out of five. Come on, Baker Mayfield. We need to start playing better here. Cleveland Browns. Glenn Campbell with the Browns. All aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop, whoop. Anthony says, best sports movie, Remember the Titans. We are the Titans. Mighty, mighty Titans. There's Devin Hester, 15 out of 50. Remember the Titans is pretty good. Excellent soundtrack. A lot of Creedence Clearwater Revival in there. Moneyball had... nominated for six Academy Awards, including wow. Best Picture, Jeez. Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Actor, and Best Supporting Actor. You know, it was. I didn't think it was Oscar. Right? It was pretty good, but must have been a soft year. Or oh, was that when they expanded like Best Picture to like ten movies, not just like five? Could you name the two Jordan Reed. Best Picture? No, I would not be able to. Yeah, Remember the Titans is pretty good. Um, that has a. I think that was one of like Hayden Panettiere's first movies. She's well, the assistant coach's daughter in that movie. Devin Bush. Hayden Panettiere, great talent. She's a good talent, yeah. It's not in anything anymore. LJ Collier. She's like in hair commercials now. She's in that movie. She's in that show of Nashville with the mom from Friday Night Lights. Oh, she's she's in Nashville. She's like one of the main like country yeah. singers in that show. I don't know if it's a thing. Is Nashville still a thing, ladies and gentlemen? Who watches who watches the show Nashville? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of our demographic watches Nashville. There's uh, Tony Siragusa, Baltimore Ravens. That will be Mark Matheson with Goose. The artist one that year. Didn't watch it. What's it about? The artist. It's a silent French. About an artist? Yeah. Out of 149, Jordan Howard. 
money ball. All right, next box. There's Tack McKinley to 249. Oh, she was married to Klitschko, the boxer? Whoa. Vladimir Klitschko? I didn't realize that. I should stop talking about her now, too. Yeah, easy. Get tied in with the Russian mob. Can't do that. Because you know Klitschko is with Putin. Absolutely. That's like Ovechkin's best friends with Putin. Yeah, their, their, their Twitter hashtags are like, I'm with Putin. So you can't mess around with that. No, you can't. He got married twice to her? That's crazy. Two different times? That's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna stop telling He's just like, I can't handle this. Alright, let's try it one more time. There's Nick Foles to 99. No longer together, George Kittle to 175. Is Nashville still a thing? <laughs> the public wants to know. No, nobody wants to know. I want to know. I'm just curious. I've seen two episodes of that. It says it is an American music set. Hmm. It seems to me it's so wrong. There's Travion Williams, Bangles. That'll be for Brandon with the Bangles. We're on CMT now, no longer on ABC. Wow. Drop down to basic cable. Tony Britton's. Soon, soon it'll be on like a streaming platform. Lifetime. <laughs> it'll be like get CMT plus. <laughs> yeah, get CMT plus, where you can watch future episodes the of the hit show awards, Nashville. Yeah. The Country Music Awards 2018. You can see all the Country Music Awards, with Denzel Ward. And then you just you just roll out like Reba McIntyre to be on there and like yeah I can't send out like the last like, like was just keeps on giving me error error for like the last thirty minutes be like hey y'all I'm Reba McIntyre be sure to watch CMT plus there is Curtis Martin flashback on that's got to be Jets Curtis Martin Patriots Curtis Martin. Curtis Martin is Patriots autograph flashback autograph edition. Curtis Martin Pats pen. There you go. That will be for John McCall. With New England. Curtis Martin has base cards as a jet. His flashback autographs card number one. Patriots edition according to groupbreakchecklist.com. Sean Alexander to 49. Look up Sean Alexander. Kids, look up a Sean Alexander highlights. He was pretty good. There's Devin McCourty to 149, Patriots. There's Russell Wilson to 199, possible MVP this year, Russell Wilson. Get Baker Mayfield in focus here. Oh, can't forget Nick Bosa. 35 out of 49. A defensive rookie of the year, maybe? Maybe just straight up defensive player of the year? <laughs> That'll go to Lee and the Niners. 35 out of 49. Steve Largent, 249. All right. We've got another few boxes over here. Another box right here. 
We've got four boxes right over here to my right. All right. Good luck, everybody. There's Devin McCourty to 199. And we got Marquise Blair. Autograph for the Seahawks. Safety for the Seahawks. Going to Peter. Peter Grimshaw on the board. It's 149. And there is Gardner Minshew to 249. Jaguars. Brandon with the Jags. I think they're going to start Nick Foles when he gets back. Aaron Jones to 199. Jarrett Stidham for the Patriots. Mark Ingram to 249. And there is DJ David Johnson to 99 for the Arizona Football Cardinals. Aaron Pettit. Cooper Cup to 199. We've been talking a lot about Jameis Winston. Where does he end up? I don't think the Buccaneers are going to re-sign him. He's a free agent at the end of the year. I think they let him walk. Go for another quarter. A lot of teams might be looking for quarterbacks next season, which would be good for 2020 product to have some fresh quarterback faces. There's Ty Johnson. Rookie autograph for the Detroit Lions. And that will be for Mark Madsen and the Lions. Oh, I think we got the RPA coming up. And it's going to be Gary Jennings Jr., 16 out of 30. Nice. Three color patch, nice autograph, and a nice one for Peter. There you go. This is the this falls one per case. And there's Danielle Hunter to one seventy five. And on to the next box. Base card sneaking out of there. There's Jay Sternberger to 249. Points. We'll randomize those points uh, to one person in the break. Winner take on the points if there's more than one. Sometimes there is. There's Rashad Penny to 99. Rex is saying that he saw a story where Rage could tour with Wu-Tang or Tool. Rage against the machine. Back together, ladies and gentlemen. Rage and Wu-Tang. That'd be awesome. Amari Cooper to 175. There's Dante Hightower to 199 for the Patriots. And Matt Stafford to 249, 1, 2, 3 out of 249 for the Lions. Will we be doing those 50 box breaks again? Yeah, someday we will, Anthony. We usually do a few of those a year. It's Kirk Cousins, Eric Reed to 25 for the Panthers.
You think Rage should go with Cypress Hill? Cypress Hill, maybe. There's Ty Johnson to 175. Go, go, one hit wonder Cypress Hill or the amazing back catalog of Wu Tang. There's Jordan Poyer to 249. And Dwayne Haskins is your autograph, Evan. Dwayne Haskins, rookie autograph. For the Redskins, hopefully he continues to do well. Be good for the hobby. Oh, now it's down there. And we got Matt Lacoste. Matt Lacoste. Who should get a uh, Lacoste sponsorship? Get some of those uh, alligator t-shirts. That goes to John McCall and the Patriots. Box. We got Ray Lewis. What time is it? Game time to 175. Still want Ray Lewis to make a make an alarm clock. There's Devin Bush the second, or at least record something for me to be an alarm clock. So when the alarm goes off, it's Ray Lewis yelling at me from my phone. Devin Bush second goes to the Steelers, Michael Gallucci. What time is it? Wake up time. Wake up so fast. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Lewis. Chris Carson to 199. Seahawks. There's Nick Vanette to 75. Brett Favre to 49. I could probably just do it myself. I could probably find enough sound, enough audio. What time is it? Wake up time? All I, gotta, all I have to find him is, is him saying wake at some point. Wake up at some point. Lonnie Johnson Jr. Patch that audio together. I'll, I'll have my own ringtone. Alarm ringtone. I'll make it happen. That'll be my winter project. There's Will Greer and Hunter Renfro to 199 for my Raiders. Jason with my Raiders. Tevin Coleman to 249 for the Niners. We've got Cameron Jordan. 249 and Luke Keekley to 149 and DeAndre Baker New York Football Giants goes to Mark Matheson Gotta try to find his quarterback. That's my quarterback. And Ed Reed. Flashback auto 
For the Baltimore Ravens, Mark Matheson with the Ed Reed. Nice. Thirteen out of forty nine. All right, four boxes to go. four right here. All right. Good luck, everyone. Almost there. Damon Williams to 249. More points. So I'll get add to the points pile. Lorenzo Carter to 149. Cortland Sutton to 175. Broncos. Juju Smith Schuster to 199. Steelers. Sorry about that, Marvin Jones Jr. Marquise Brown, 249. He's back. He's healthy. Hopefully, we'll do some amazing things. There's Mitchell Trubisky. Bears wanted to get back on track to 99. Foster Moreau caught a touchdown last weekend. Raiders, my Raiders, had four touchdowns that game, I think. They're all by, by rookies. There's DJ Moore to 199. Darius Geist to 249. There's Josh Jacobs. Hunter Renfro, Foster Moreau, and then one other player. I forget. Good sign for the Raiders, though. Bit of a youth movement happening. Got Dwayne Haskins, another one for Evan. There you go. Want him to do well, Dwayne Haskins. And Rodney Anderson for Brandon and the Bengals. He's your sensational signature. There's Latavius Murray, 249. Saints. I think even when Kamara comes back, I think Latavius Murray could have still have some fancy usefulness, I'm hoping. Maybe in a flex spot. Deeper league. There's Caleb Wilson. It's Mr. Irrelevant. That looks like a catch right there. Aaron Pettit with the Cardinals. Josh Doxson, what up, Doc? To 249. Ed Oliver, Bills to 175. Allen Robinson to 199. How is Ed Oliver doing? 
He's been playing. I feel like he he was another one of those kind of highly touted defensive front guys. Daniel Jones, there you go. That's the guy Mark Matheson was looking for when he picked up the New York football Giants. He definitely seems to be the quarterback of the future. 25 out of 75. The Giants keep making some good decisions right there. They've got their quarterback set. They got Saquon Barkley. Right? They've got Evan Ingram, who's a pretty dynamic player. Green scope as well. So all they need to do, maybe got Golden Tate, maybe add some more offensive line, some receiving, some definitely some defense. And, uh, you know, Giants could be a pretty competitive team within a couple of seasons. And if Daniel Jones keeps improving, keeps evolving, it's good for the hobby. Riley Ridley, Eddie George to 75. Mike Williams. So Ed Oliver, Anthony Bonilla, Bills guys saying he's all right. A.J. Brown to 25. Maybe with a new quarterback, guys like A.J. Brown could really shine. And Corey Davis. Antonio Callaway. So maybe Titans probably go a different direction. They've already gone a different direction from Mariota. They're with Tannehill now. I think they'll be drafting a quarterback next year. There's Alex Barnes to 249. Titans. Montez Sweat. Sweat! It's just my last name. And another. That's a third Dwayne Haskins. This time this is a sensational signature. Dwayne Haskins for Evan and the Redskins. Nice. Boom. Boom. Darwin Thompson for the Chiefs. Evan with the Chiefs. He's heating up. Yeah, Redskins certainly getting, getting their money's worth. Yeah, if Dwayne Haskins strings together a couple good games. All right, they're starting him, right? That would also be good for the hobby. There's Lamar Jackson. He's good for the hobby at a 249. There's Dexter Williams. Green Bay Packers autograph for Charles. Mitchell Trubisky, 32 out of 75. Johnny Unitas. That's pretty cool. To 149. 52 out of 149 for Gary and the Colts. Johnny U. Kenyon Drake. To 199. And we've got Miles Boykin to 49. Sensational signature for Mark and the Ravens. Play like a Raven today. Ravens are extremely, extremely smart creatures. A little too smart. There's Devonta Freeman to 249. Darius Slayton, A.J. Brown to 99. 
Miles Boykin again to 175. Trey Burton to 199. That is for the Bears. Peter. Tyler Lockett, orange, 249 for the Seahawks. And the last box coming up, ladies and gents. All right, good luck to everybody. All right. Final three autographs, and we'll give away some of that break credit. There's Bryce Love for Evan and the Redskins. We'll give away some break credit. If you bought at least two teams, you'll get one entry. Four teams gets you two entries. Six teams get you three entries, so on and so forth, for $100 of break credit. It's pretty solid. And then I'll do a quick little recap, autograph recap at the end as well. There's Delaney Walker. Terry Godwin the second to 199. And Lonnie Johnson Jr., corner for Aaron Pettit and the Texans. There he is again. Traquan Smith to 249. Rock Ya Sin to twenty five Warren Sapp for the Buccaneers to one forty nine and Brian Burns sixty two out of seventy five Mark Madison and the Panthers green scope autograph for the rookie. Mike Evans to 175. No worries, Peter. Thanks for joining. Josh Oliver. Deion Sanders, Falcon Edition to 249. TJ Watt, Neon Green to 75. Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Benny Snell Jr. for Michael to 149. And I think that's it, right? There's Minka Fitzpatrick to 199. And there you have it, boys and girls. Let's give away some money. And that bundles points too. Can't forget about the points. Alright, Aaron down to Evan. Everyone has a shot at those points. And Let's alphabetize by your first names so we can see who's going to get the break credit. So Aaron, you got two teams. You get an entry. So does Brandon and Evan. 
and John McCall. Mark Madsen picked up seven teams. Six are eligible. You get three entries. Nice. There you go, Mark. Peter, you've got six. You have three. There you go. So one spot out of the ten is going to get $100 of break credit, which are pretty good odds. Let's roll it and randomize it four and a one five times. One, this is for the points. Two, three, four, and a one, fifth and final time. After five times, we've got Brandon. Brandon Kakuda with the points. A little extra bonus there for you. Two 250 point cards. Four and a one, five times for the break credit. One, two, three, four. And a one, fifth and final time. Name on top is going to be Peter. There you go, Peter. 100 bucks of break credit going your way. Thanks to you. Congrats to you. That's a pretty solid break, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do a quick autograph recap here. Got some nice color here. Definitely love the parallels. A few Dwayne Haskinses. There's a nice Daniel Jones. There's another one right there. Old school Ed Reed. Another Dwayne Haskins. Your RPA was Gary Jennings Jr., which I thought was pretty strong. We've got Curtis Martin, flashback autographs. Patriots edition. We've got the Baker Mayfield, gold vinyl. Travis Fulham, gold vinyl. Ryan Finley. Tyler Murray, and Josh Reynolds. There you have it, folks. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.